and it's just all come to pieces. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Oh wow, that's crazy when things work. Each day I'm gonna do my makeup the exact same way and then we'll just go about our day and live our lives and then at the same time every day, we'll try a different oil control product to see what kind of difference it makes. To be honest, I haven't tried that much to combat this only because I'm lazy. We can't all be blessed with perfect skin, so of course I got the oiliest of all T-zones. I'm excited to find a new favorite, so let's get this week started. Good morning, I'm in a towel. The first oil control product is the NYX matte blotting paper. I use a lot of NYX products. They're a little bit more inexpensive, but I feel like they're actually really good quality. I don't love blotting papers because they tend to pick up my makeup wherever they're taking the oil off, which is not what I want to happen. Take the oil, but leave all of the other beautiful hard work that I've done. I mean, this is $4 for 50 sheets, so I don't, my expectations aren't like super high. I'm just gonna go about my business check in with you guys around 4.30 when I'm like the most oily. All right, it's 4.30 p.m. and I am officially a shiny a lot of oily areas with our blotting paper. Shine is gone while makeup remains intact. We'll see about that next. As you can see, I'm glistening. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna... Oh, wow. Literally my first... <laughs> Gross. We're just gonna... That's really oily. This is not face-sized, you know? So now I have to use another one. Ew, it's literally ready. She's full, so we're actually gonna use another one. That's like forehead makeup. Did take me two sheets, but my face looks a lot less oily. I also don't feel totally de-oiled. I don't like it. Day two, and for $12.99, we're trying the Revlon Oil Absorbing Volcanic Face Roller. This little rolly ball is a real volcanic stone. I'm really excited to try this just because it looks cool. We have arrived. Oh my God, that's the best egg I've ever made. Here's my recipe. You're welcome. Okay, so two impulsive tattoos later. <laughs> I've heard people all over the internet talk about this Revlon product and they all say it's like the most amazing thing. You literally just roll this around your face, like. Oh, ew. Oh, it's just all come to pieces, but I don't know why. Reusable and easy to wash. Okay, now the whole ball is covered in my foundation. That sound is terrible. I definitely look less shiny, right? Yeah. This definitely worked. I definitely have less oil on my T-zone and all over my face. So for $13, eh. It's okay, it definitely did the job though, so. It doesn't even really look like it took my makeup off, right? Good morning and welcome to day three. I've woken up, done a full face of makeup. Today, we're trying the third most expensive product, $26 blotting papers. I understand that it's saying that the charcoal is gonna help clear your pores, but like, Feels like a silly claim. Maybe they won't remove as much makeup as the next one. Feel like you're falling on, off of a cliff so high. Then you be the bed just right. Staying up through these nights, it's alright. And every single time I call you. Tell me this is not the most beautiful thing you have ever seen. Mm -hmm. All right, it is 4.30 p.m. and as you can see, Hella shiny. So the other blotting sheets were $4 for 50 and these are $26 for 50. These ones are, however, vegan and cruelty free, which is important to me personally. So we'll just do the same. Don't you just love one touch and it only looks like that. How are you guys not disgusted watching this video? Are any of you guys gonna wanna be my friend after this? A look. I don't think I'm gonna have to use two sheets this time, so that does mean something. I only needed two to do the job that I think I needed three or four of the NYX ones to do. It works, and it's nice that it's cruelty-free, but like, I don't think the charcoal is doing anything. 
Don't at me though. I do think it still took more of my makeup off than I'd like it to. That's why I don't like something that you have to press on to remove oil, because you're gonna remove everything else on your face, as opposed to like a powder, which I'm excited about for tomorrow. This is definitely way more matte, and I only used one sheet, which is nice. It's the last day. This powder right here is $50. Powder is the way I normally go when I want to blot my face in the middle of the day, but I've never used a $50 powder. I'm so excited because everything I've used from Fenty Beauty has worked amazingly on my skin. So for it to be $51, it has to be the truth. Like this has to be the truth and the light. Let's check out what we've collected so far today. I hate that I ordered it like that, I'm sorry. My T-zone is super oily despite not having been outside very much. Shine bright like a diamond. I don't love these. I'll try it on like the side of my nose, but I tend to go for brushes when I powder. Oh, <gasps> wait, low key? It's not messing up my makeup. It's not ruining my foundation. It didn't take off any of my makeup and it didn't leave like a weird powdery film, it just, returned my makeup back to the way it looked when I first put it on this morning. Wait, my forehead is the part I'm most excited about. Let's see if this like line disappears. Wait, stop. The difference between this side and this side? I fully understand why it's $51. I feel like I was pretty oily and that was just like such a light dusting. Like it didn't take a lot of product. It effortlessly got rid of what appears to be all my oil. I just want to move my Wow. In this case, I really do think that the price is matched up to the quality. So if you're looking for a really cheap option, NYX works. But if you're looking to invest in something that works and isn't gonna have a ton of downsides, this is a good investment. This is a clear winner. Fenty Beauty's Invisimat Blotting Powder is definitely number one. Last would be Revlon's Volcanic Roller. I. I just don't like it. I would say number four, gotta give it to the cheapest one, the next one. I have to give it a tie to the Fenty Beauty and the Revlon Roller because I think it's like not in everybody's budget like to be spending $50 on blotting powder. Whereas like the face roller, since you can reuse it, I feel like it's actually a pretty good price. To all my fellow oily people out there, I see you, I feel you, and good luck on your journey.